In this video, we have this network, which shows the capacities of each edge, uh, where we've got the source S and the sink T. And what we need to do is show that the flow SACT equals 8, SADT equals 5, SBCT equals 5, and SBDT equals 5 is feasible. So we need to show that all of those flows going through the network are feasible uh, altogether. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill out these two tables um, as we go so that we can check uh, the flow is um, hitting the capacities, uh, so we, they don't go over the capacities rather, and that the flow in is equal to the flow out. Okay, so SACT, SACT will go along SA, AC and CT. So SA will have a flow of 8. Uh, AC will have a flow of 8 and CT will have a flow of 8. Okay, and there's no problem with the capacities there. Right, let's go on to the next one. SADT equals 5. So SA needs to have another 5. And that's fine, that's got us to 13. Uh, then we've got AD, that will have 5. And DT will have 5 as well. Okay, and they're fine with their capacities. Then we've got SBCT equals 5, so SB uh, needs 5, and that's fine. BC needs 5, and CT needs 5, so 8 plus 5, and that gets us up to 13. Then we've got SBDT equals 5, so SB is another 5, and that's fine, that's 10. BD is going to get 5, and DT is going to have a 5. OK, so they are the four flows. So we've got 13, which matches the capacity. We've got 10, which is under the 12. 8 is under 10. 5 is the same as 5, so AD is saturated. BC is saturated. BD is saturated. 8 plus 5 is 13, so CT is saturated. DT is 10, which is under 12, so that's fine. OK, so that's all good. We now need to check that the flow in is equal to the flow out. So there's no flow going into S, okay? Because the flow in uh, and flow out, they've got to be the same apart from the source and the sink, okay? So the flow out for S, well, we've got SA and we've got SB. So 13 plus 10, so 23. Then the flow into A would be SA, Okay, there's only one flow into A, so SA is 13. Now coming out of A, we've got AC and AD. So AC is 8, and AD is 5, and that makes up the 13, so that's all good. Right, the flow in for B is just SB, which is 10. And the flow out of B is BC and BD. Now BC is 5, and BD is 5, which is 10. OK, so that matches. Now the flow into C, we've got AC and BC. So 8, and we've got, uh, which was it, BC, uh, 5. So that makes 13. And coming out of C is CT, which is 13. OK, so they match. Flowing into D, we've got AD and BD. So AD is 5, and BD is 5. So that's 10. And coming out of D is DT, which is 10. So that's all good. And finally, the flow into T is CT and DT. So 13 plus 10 which is 23, and there's no flow going out of T. So what we found uh, by f filling out this table is that this is feasible, and the flow that we have found that goes through the system is 23. So the question is, can we improve upon 23? Okay, that's the next question.